Hi, I'm James. Welcome to Frequently Asked Questions in mm -hmm. Commercial Roofing. This is Tom. Hello. Tom, what's our question today? So we've got a really great question today. Okay. And that is, what is the strength of a thermoplastic weld? And this is important for single ply roofing membranes mm -hmm. that are thermoplastic and used in commercial roofing. So like TPO and PVC. Exactly. Okay. Well, I actually spent some time with Brian in the lab. Okay. And he did some tests to kind of illustrate that. Do you oh, want? Let's take a look. All right. What we have here is a ply adhesion sample. Uh, two pieces of TPO welded together uh, such that they have tails that you can pull on. And then we have a seam strength sample here such that pull on these other ends here and basically you get a gauge of the strength of the weld. All right. So we're looking at the value, the amount of force mm -hmm. that it takes to pull this apart. Correct. And then I see from the graph here, it looks like maybe it's tearing. This initial peak represents the force to break the cap layer. Okay. And then subsequent peaks and valleys represent the adhesion of the cap layer to the core layer. So we're breaking the weld between the scrim windows, basically. Right? Yes. That's why it goes up and down. Right. Okay. So what we've got here is a 100% film tearing bond. So uh, it was a good weld? It's a good weld. This okay. gives us a good in, an indication that it was a good weld. Um, you can see where the core layer was attached to the cap layer um, as we peeled it. Okay. So then on the graph here, it looks like it was about 60. Is yes. that good? Yes. Our target is 45. So well above the minimum. Yes. Absolutely. Great. Can I keep that sample? Sure. Thanks, Brian. All right. So Brian was really good at yes. describing what's going on in those tests. What is the significance of that? So if you think back to what uh, Brian was walking you through, there were two tests that he showed. Mm -hmm. One was where he's welding the two pieces together, right. and then he's trying to peel that weld apart. And what was happening is, as he's peeling those two pieces apart, okay. the weld itself did not peel open. The weld I was remember. really solid, right? Yeah. So what did fail? It was the membrane on one side or the other of the weld. And what you see is that the membrane on one side or the other starts to split open, mm -hmm. and you can actually see the reinforcing fabric showing through. Right, and the failure was actually the weld in the little windows of the scrim there. Right, so we call that the lamination mm -hmm. of the cap to the core, the, the white side to the dark side. Mm -hmm. And we use that test, that TPL test, to tell us how effectively have we laminated the cap to the core in that sheet, the bottom to the top. We sense. do that test uh, all day, um, all the way through every shift that makes that membrane to make sure that we have a really solid membrane going out to the field. Well, consistency day to day is critical. Exactly, exactly. So what about the other test? So in the other test, Brian has welded two pieces of membrane together right. in a slightly different configuration. So he's got the overlap mm -hmm. welded, and then he mounts it vertically and he's pulling the two pieces and trying to separate that weld. Right. We call that a, a shear test. Okay. And it's the same end result. This is the interesting thing. Hmm. The weld itself is not failing. It's the membrane above or below that weld. And if you look closely, what you'll see in the test is that the membrane at the bottom in this case is stretching it's getting a little bit thinner. You start to see the scrim telegraphing through. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like a waffle pattern. Exactly, exactly. And if you look at the top, that membrane was stretching. You'll see it shake a little bit, and that's as some of the yarns are, are breaking. Okay. And then the membrane itself starts to really open up, break, and then you suddenly see it uh, break apart. But the weld has not broken. Yeah, in both cases, great. the weld stayed together. Exactly. So that's great in the lab, but what does that mean on the roof, Tom? Well, this is the great thing for, for thermoplastic single-ply roofing. What it means is you've essentially got a monolithic system from edge to edge, both directions, mm -hmm. on that roof. You've got the membrane itself solidly made. Then you've got the seam stronger than the membrane. Mm. So essentially, you've got a monolithic membrane from side to side, edge to edge, which is great. Well, and that's an interesting point. You said stronger, where typically in roofing, the seam is the weakest point. So we're kind of flipping that on its head with thermoplastics. Okay, so James, that's a great point. That if you, if you think about things like thermoset single-ply membranes, they don't weld, they're not weldable. And so you have to use an adhesive in the seam. Right. That adhesive is actually the weak link. Mm. So you've got yourself a solid membrane on either side, but whereas in thermoplastics the weld, the seam, is the strongest, 
In systems where you've had to use an adhesive, that's the weakest part of the system. Right, and you've got adhesive, you're worried about workmanship right, right. and other things. But with, with adhesive, you have to have positive drainage. Mm -hmm. Standing water on the roof is a concern with that. Yes, absolutely. Standing water is a concern, and I think you refer to that really as ponding water. Right. And you can talk to us a little bit about the warranty. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, on TPO and PVC systems, mm -hmm. ponding water is not excluded in the warranty. Right, right. Which is interesting in the yeah, system. Yeah, really, really a great advantage. So the other thing about adhesives, it, it makes me also think of limitations in temperature. So yes. So if you think about adhesives, in cold weather, they're going to be too thick to apply. Mm -hmm. In very hot weather, they might flash off a little bit too quickly, and the roofer has to be very careful about closing those seams up uh, before they actually uh, set up. But I think in the case of welding, you've been on roofs with, uh, in some pretty extreme conditions. Absolutely. I've been on roofs that it's not comfortable, mm -hmm. but you still could get a good thermoplastic weld. A good weld. Which okay. Which is interesting. Great. Great. So it's, it's very important to know the seams to mm -hmm. answer our question right. are right. basically the strongest part on the roof. Mm -hmm. Yes. So thank you for answering that, Tom. Oh. And thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Please tune in again for yeah. Frequently Asked Questions mm -hmm. Commercial Roofing. Great. Thank you.